I've been playing IPL for 15 years and I haven't won it yet. But that doesn't stop me from being excited every year. That's all I can do. That's, that's the effort I can put. Every game, every tournament that I play. If we win, great. If we don't, I'm not going to go to my grave thinking, oh, only if I had won the IPL, I would have been a happy man dying. It doesn't happen like that, I mean. So always think about the opportunity you have rather than how bad it is right now. There's always a flip side to it and it could always be worse than this. And the fact that we haven't won the IPL, I still feel we have the best fans in the world. Only because we were always committed every game that we played for RCB and that has been the most special thing for our fans. Now when they see us, the smile on their face tells me that they believe in our commitment for the team and that's all we could have given them. There's no guarantee of giving the fans a cup every, every year, but there's a guarantee of giving you 110%. And that's all you you all can strive. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you? How's everyone? It's been um, a challenging season, for sure. And someone who's been at RC2 for 15 years, I've seen many challenging seasons, and I can kind of understand um, the pressures that you guys must be feeling because it's a lot of expectations in big league tournament but I think it's an honor as well it's a privilege to to have that situation in front of you and yeah we've had a similar situation I think it was 2019 we lost six in a row and I I clearly remember that after we lost the sixth game we had a get-together in the evening and I walked in I was I was the captain so I was completely gone I couldn't feel anything like I I didn't recognize myself I was like I had no belief left whatsoever and I walk into the, the post-match get-together and the first person I see is AB and I walk in and he walks to me and we stand face to face and all we are doing is like we never lost six games in a row in our lives and we played 15 years of international cricket almost together at the same stage so unexpected things can happen um, unfortunate things can happen but uh, the reason why I'm here is there is still hope Right, there is a 1% chance and sometimes that chance is good enough. Uh, but what matters is what you guys think about that 1%. Are you willing to give absolutely everything that you have in tonight's game to make that 1 into 10 and then grow that 10 into 30 and eventually something magical might come out of it. Even if nothing happens post these three games, the chance to walk away after the three games with your head held high is sometimes more important than reaching a knockout stage of a particular tournament. Sometimes we, we only think of the results that we really want, which is short term. But what these three games can actually do is build a lot of character for you guys because it's just the first season. And regardless of what happens, if you make it, trust me, you're going to have the time of your lives. I mean, it's very evident, right? You, you can sense it if you turn this around. Then when you come out of this, you'll have much more confidence, belief, faith. All those things are a given. But even if that doesn't happen and even if the results don't go your way, if all of you very honestly can walk out of the field from the third game, looking at each other in the eye and say, did I give 100% and if the answer is yes to each one of you, then I think you've gained something which is very special. Um, and the results will, will follow when they have to and if they have to because the reality of the situation is there are four more teams playing this tournament. It's not just you guys. Um, something that I've found it very hard to process in my career because out of competitiveness. You know, not, I wouldn't accept the opposition winning at all, but I forgot they're human beings as well, wanting to win maybe more on the day than me, if not as much. So, there are so many factors that we tend to forget under pressure situations. Um, but I just hope that um, you all can embrace this, this situation with grace, belief, um, integrity and, and more than that have with a lot of self-esteem, you know, have respect for yourselves as, as individuals who are selected because they are obviously good enough to be here. I'm saying this because the, the time that my captaincy tenure was coming to an end here, I was left with no belief, to be very honest. I was gone, like the tank was absolutely empty. But that was my own perspective, right? That was just me as an individual saying, oh, I've seen so much of this and I just can't manage it. I just can't handle it anymore. But the next season, new people came in, 
they had new ideas there was another opportunity they were excited maybe as an individual i wasn't that excited but they created the energy we reached playoffs 3 years in a row and now we start every season with the excitement that there was before and i feel excited now the person who was not up to the mark so it's a collective responsibility if someone's feeling down as well the others can pull that person up we've all done that at some stage in our career but to be excited to do that under pressure when so many people are watching not just in the stadiums but on tv at home family members are watching what an opportunity to win the game for your team you know when when no one's believing in you so that not only spreads the belief in the team but people watching you they get inspired they start believing in you as individuals so there's a lot to take out of these three games starting tonight and i hope that this can be of little help to you guys i'll be very happy if they, this makes any difference whatsoever it might or it might not but i've needed constant reminders even from youngsters because they have a fresh perspective right i i have been under pressure because i played for so long and i've been insecure i've tried to protect my performances i've tried to protect my reputation oh i'm virat kohli i need to perform every game i can't afford to get out and then these youngsters come and tell me why didn't you hit the ball and i'm like yeah he's right i couldn't think about it because i'm so caught up in me 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 and what i should do and how people are looking at me and who i am and all that stuff that i forgot just how to play the game sometimes that's all we need to remember not sometimes but actually all the time and that's the only challenge we have how to not complicate this and go away from the love of the game that's why we all started playing whether we picked up a bat or picked up a ball we did this because we love playing the game so to keep that excitement alive when things are not going your way is the real test this is the real test if you had won 5 in a row i wouldn't even pick up the call to come here to be honest i'm just here to tell you that this is what will help you learn not winning 5 in a row that anyone can do in life looks great afterwards so keep your heads high and keep a smile on your face but inside there should be a fire burning behind that smile you're not here to give freebies to the opposition you put your bodies on the line you get into a fight you get into a tussle if it has to be done till the last ball is bowled the match is not over or till the last run is scored if that means you have to fight till that till that last run with a teammate of yours that you play with otherwise it has to be done because this is the team right now not that that's all i have i don't do this a lot so this is 